Welcome to the broadcast. My name is Eric Latif. On Sun Language Interpreter tonight is Damian Evans. Top officials who were asked over the multi-billion shilling Kemsa scandal appeared before the Senate committee where they sought to clear their names over the Mosquito Nets deal. Former Principal Secretary Josephine Moreau and former Kemsa board chair Daniel Rono told committee members that they are not to blame for the 3.7 billion shilling scandal. According to Moro, the former PS, she got into office when the tendering process had already begun and appeared to pass the buck to her former colleague in charge of the Kemsa docket. And as Brenda Zedaradid on our reports, suspended Kemsa CEO Terry Ramadani also said the tendering process was about above board. Do solemnly swear Three weeks after being sacked from office, former public health PS Josephine Boro, Kemsa chairman Daniel Runo, and suspended Kemsa CEO Terry Ramadani for the first time appeared in public to shed light on what happened over the bungled 3.7 billion shillings mosquito net tender. The three would appear before the Senate Health Committee, probing the scandal Tuesday morning at different time intervals. First to appear before the committee, was embattled former PS who distanced herself from the scandal, saying she got into office after the procurement process had begun. But the already process had started. Me, I came in on 21st February. I requested for the document which had already started the process, which had provided the specification, and which was approved from Global Fund to CAMSA, which was delivered by Malaria Program, which has been signed by dated 7th November, According to Mboro, she was notified by a staff from the health department about an omission on the specification of the nets in a newspaper advertisement, prompting her to write a letter to Kemsa CEO Terry Ramadani to rectify the omission. She says her role with the tendering process ended when she raised the concern over the omission. She told the committee that Kemsa operations are overseen by medical services and not public health department, which she was in charge of when the scandal was reported. Kemsa is not under Josephine. It was not under me. It was not under public health. It's under, it was under that time medical services, under PS2. And again, it was not under my regulatory, the board. So everything was on the other side. I had no control over. My work ended the day I wrote a letter for technical specification. On his part, Daniel Rono maintained his innocence, claiming he was never briefed about the controversial scandal, but only learned about cancellation of the tender by Global Fund while undergoing an induction meeting in Naivasha. He told the Jackson Mandago led committee that Kemsa board was not in control of the particular tender and never sat as a board to deliberate on the tender. I joined Kemsa in, 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 in February. And those stages had technically been, been done. And even this tender that we are talking about, it had been floated uh, uh, in, it was advertised in, in January. So I got the process already uh, ongoing. Suspended Kemsa CEO on her part questioned why Global Fund decided to terminate Kenya's contract, yet the tendering process the authority conducted was above board. Ramadani clarified that Kemsa's request to re-advertise and carry out the tender afresh was rejected as a donor cited agency of the distribution of the mosquito nets in fighting malaria. So it was imperative that everything had to be done above board anyway, as per procedure. So I do not know, you know, what outcome other than what the documents provide as an outcome, because it's a process. If in the process you're required to provide a manufacturer's authorization license. Ramadhani and Boro have also termed their removal from office as unprocedural. But from the media, we were told the, the president was advised. I think the question is, I would look for justice or maybe we need to know what advice was the president given for him to go and say, just when you are involved in this tender. Since that date today, nobody has contacted me. My first engagement on this Kemsa matter is with this Senate committee. Not the acting CEO, not the new board, not the PS or the CS. On Thursday, the Senate committee is expected to meet representatives from National Treasury and the Global Fund. Brenda Zeda Radido, K10 News. From the media. To the contentious 